We're now going to dig a little deeper into the idea of a well-formed deductive argument. That is a deductive argument that exhibits good logic, that shows good logic. And this is the, what we're going to go over now are going to be some really important concepts. So make sure you understand them because if you don't get these these concepts now, everything else that follows is going to be absolutely unintelligible. It's going to make no sense whatsoever. So you really have to work on getting these distinctions. And let's start by taking a look at our classic example. Socrates is a man. All men are mortal. Therefore, Socrates is mortal. Now, number one thing we've noticed about this argument so far. What do you notice about it? It is a deductive argument. That is, the inference or the reasoning is conclusive. That is, if you're going to accept those two premises, if, though, if, if, I'm not saying they are, but if those two premises are factual, it's going to lead you invariably to that conclusion. Now, don't get confused from the fact that those two sentences happen to be va factual because it doesn't matter if they're true if they're not true if they're factual if they're not factual it's we're talking about the conclusive connection between those two premises and that conclusion and what we say about the, you know a conclusive inference is that it's truth preserving what do we mean by truth preserving? Well, I say over here, impossible for the premises to be true and the conclusions false. But the concept is just this. That is, a when you have good a good deductive argument, good deductive logic, if you if you start with true premises, the conclusions also going to be true. That is, if you start with the good stuff in you guarantee to have the good stuff out. If you start with factual stuff in, you're getting factual stuff out. If you don't start with factual stuff in, all bets are off. But remember, that's why we have that second criteria that we're going to come back to later that is factual content. Now we are just worried about the logic. And eventually we're going to get to see why we're talking about these as being well formed, that the form of this argument is right. And we're gonna, we have this term that we mentioned before that we're going to be using. And we, if we have a deductive argument that shows good logic that has good form, it follows a good pattern, we're going to say it is a valid argument. Now guys, in life, we use valid to mean many things. But we're going to have something very specific in mind here in logic, so we got to give up. Valid now becomes a technical term. You could be walking down the street with a friend of yours, and they say, hey, gee, look at that. Isn't that, isn't that the great, the, the, the the most beautiful building you've ever seen, the greatest architecture you've ever seen, or isn't that song great? And you say, yeah, that's a valid point. That's a perfectly acceptable way of using the word valid, where it kind of means the same thing as I might say true or correct, except for one thing. In this course, from now on, do never, do not ever use valid in that way. That's going to get you an F in the course. To get the A in the course that you want to get, valid is a technical term, and it just means that it is a well-formed deductive argument. It is a good deductive inference. And we're now going to dig into this concept because it's very important that we understand what a valid deductive argument and what that means.